gingerbread possible in Adopt Me. In honor of the holiday spirit, I have this ride reindeer I want to give away to one of you guys. To enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down your Roblox username. First things first, before the mini game starts with the snowball fight, we are first going to do the penguin race. Now, I'm not gonna actually race because, I mean, I have a pretty good personal best time if I do say so myself. We just need the gingerbread and the snowball fight is starting soon. So basically, we're just gonna get the max gingerbread possible. We're gonna take our time, but we're gonna make sure that we get every single gingerbread. I'm not gonna miss a single one. And guys, I have been playing this a lot, so I shouldn't miss any. This is actually my favorite game. I love that they bring it back every year. So you guys, no matter what, just follow the path of the gingerbread. It's pretty easy to follow along. Just make sure you pick up every single one. And if you accidentally miss one, that's completely fine. Just make sure you go back and get it. This is always the hardest part for me when you gotta go around these giant candy canes, but we're gonna get every single piece of gingerbread, the max gingerbread possible, and then we're gonna go straight on over to the snowball game. Now, once we get to the end of this, you guys are gonna see the max amount of gingerbread that you can get, and we're also gonna time how long it takes for the next mini game to start. So for me, when I'm raising a pet, I just prefer to do this because your pet doesn't despawn when you do the mini game. I just chose not to have one out, but okay. So 1,920, that is the max amount of gingerbread that you can get from that mini game. We didn't miss a single one, and we did that just in time. My alt account is actually over at the snowball game because if you guys didn't know, you actually need at least one other person in the mini game for the mini game to start. If there's not a second person, at least in the mini game, it won't let you play it by yourself. So it's kind of hard if you don't have two accounts, but try to get a friend. Public servers make this a little bit harder, but for me, this is personally the easiest way. So basically, I'm kind of just gonna sacrifice my alt. I'm just gonna hit her with a snowball as many times as I can, and I'm gonna get the max candy on my main account. Now, if you guys don't remember, we started with exactly 23,000 candy. So we're gonna see just how much candy we can get in an hour. Okay, so the game just started. I gotta be quick. Just use my shovel and click right at my alt account. Just hit her. I feel really bad, but as soon as she stands up, I'm gonna hit her with another snowball. Again, guys, I do have to sacrifice her a bit, but honestly, this is just for me so I can get the max amount of gingerbread. I know I keep calling it candy, but to me, it's all the same. So I know that that was a very quick game, but that was on purpose. So we got 3,400 gingerbread. That's because not only did we win, but I think also for the number of times that I was able to hit her. And in case in case you guys were wondering, my alt account did get an extra 1,500 gingerbread just for playing, but she also got 600 gingerbread for, I guess, doing nothing. So I'm gonna let my alt stay in the queue over there, and we're just gonna wait to go pick up more gingerbread on the ice ring. Okay, I didn't get the notification about the gingerbread appearing all over the lake again, but my alt account did, so we gotta be fast because the snowball minigame is literally about to start. I don't know if I can do this in, like, precisely a minute, but I'm gonna do my best. Oh no, there's the teleport for the snowball minigame. Oh, I just messed up. I missed one gingerbread. All right, guys, I hope that this will still be here when we get back. We'll be able to find out if we can get the max candy, but we gotta go. We get way more gingerbread from this mini game, so I would much prefer to play this. Now, I'm pretty sure I can only hit my alt account three times before the game ends. And there we go, 3,400 gingerbread again. I'm gonna do the course, like, kind of backwards because I wanna see if there was anything else that I missed. I know that there was this one up here that I missed, but I think that that was everything. And then a couple more on this ramp. So it looks like it didn't reset yet, which is good, which means we could still get the max amount for this round. Okay, yeah, I think it's safe to say that we got them all. We're gonna find out if it says 1920 when we get over here. Oh, no, it doesn't. That means that we definitely missed one. There they are. Okay, that's gotta be the last two. There we go. 1920. 1920 gingerbread. And now I guess I'm just gonna watch this like a hawk to see when the gingerbread spawns again. So basically, combine between both mini games each time. If you get the max amount of gingerbread, you get 5,320 gingerbread. I believe we could do this about six times an hour. So that's basically like 30,000 gingerbread an hour, give or take. Also, before I forget, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at these ladders, but before I forget, today's advent calendar, which is the six technically, was 3,000 gingerbread, so that's already extra gingerbread on top of everything else we're about to get today. Okay, this time we did get the notification that the gingerbread appeared all over the lake, but we're already on our way there. So this notification comes about three minutes before the snowball fight starts, and I only need a little bit more than a minute to be able to do this course. I guess you guys are just gonna watch me do it again. I'm also trying to raise the reindeer that I'm giving away in this video because I'll try to make it full grown for whoever gets a chance to win it. I feel like I need to redeem myself because I didn't do so well on this obstacle course, but I'm really good at it, okay? Like, I've done this so many times. I know it's really easy once you get the hang of it. You guys didn't just see me miss a gingerbread. That never happened. We'll pick it up on the way back around. We actually have time this time in case we make a mistake. So there, we just got it, but now we gotta slow 
down. Okay, we're back on track. Listen, I'm not perfect and I'm not timing myself on this race. I'm good with my best time of 59 seconds. But yeah, basically, if you really want to earn the most candy, as soon as you get that notification, you got to immediately go over here and start collecting the gingerbread on the ice. Because if you don't, then you're going to miss your chance and it's going to reset again. But there we go. Another chance to get 1,920 gingerbread. So I have my alt account in a second monitor. I see that we have about a minute to go before the next mini game. So let's just see if we could do this quick school task. Like I said, guys, I'm just going to try to make this reindeer full grown because it is a part of the giveaway today. I actually do think we have enough time and we're going to make it just in time to get 3,400 more gingerbread. As soon as my reindeer finishes school, I'll select yes. Okay, there we go. Now I feel safe to do it. And here we are all queued up again right here with my alt. All right, guys. So basically the same idea. We are just going to absolutely destroy my alt. We're not friends in this mini game. In this mini game, we're all about the gingerbread. So it doesn't matter to me if she lives or dies. I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but we got to get this gingerbread. And there it is. Exactly what we were looking for. 3,400 gingerbread. Okay, so I just figured out that it doesn't tell you the gingerbread appears on the lake when you're in your house. I think that that's kind of weird, but we are going to do this again. Oh my gosh, I missed so much at the beginning, but that's okay. We have three full minutes until the snowball fight, and I actually wanted to try something a little bit different this time just to test a theory. Right now, we discovered we get a little over 5,000 gingerbread every single time that we do both mini games, but I want to see if there's a way to make a little bit more. But you guys are going to have to wait till the snowball fight, so watch me do this one more time. Hopefully, one of these times, I actually get it down pat. I honestly do think that we're doing a pretty good job. I think we're already getting so much gingerbread because we started with 23,000 and we've already almost gotten 20,000 gingerbread and I honestly feel like I've done nothing. This grinding has been pretty easy. Way easier than the Halloween event, I would say. It's definitely easy to grind on one account just by doing this. Okay, so here was the two that I missed before. That's actually not that bad. And then we go and grab those two and then I hit the present and then we get our 1,920 gingerbread. I still think we have time to make it to the pizza place before we run into a wall. Okay, we just finished the task on Comet, so now the reindeer is full grown that we're giving away, and let's go to the snowball fight. Okay, so here's what I thought. I'm wondering, if I have two alt accounts, will I get more gingerbread? We're gonna see what happens, but what if they put one of the alt accounts on my team? Okay, I didn't think this through. I kind of wanted to put those two on another team and me on one team, but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see what happens. Okay, it worked out the exact way I wanted it to, so I have two alt accounts on that team. Obviously, neither one of them is gonna do a thing. I'm gonna see if I can hit them both three times and if I do that if it gives me more than 3,000 okay the moment of truth you guys oh it does give you a little bit more we got 300 more gingerbread oh wow but how would you be able to afk so many accounts at one I feel like one alt account is reasonable but I just wanted to find out if we could make a little bit extra gingerbread so the way that I understand it maybe it's 100 extra gingerbread per extra hit you get on somebody I don't really know this might be the last time that we're gonna be doing this obstacle course the hour is only almost up. I can't wait to see how much gingerbread that we got in total at all the end of this. I know that one last round we did get 300 extra gingerbread, but I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible for you guys. Obviously, I don't think everybody's going to be able to play with two alt accounts and their main on at the same time. I think the idea of having at least one alt account, oopsies, oh I made that penguin really mad. But yeah, I think the idea of playing with one friend or one alt account is way more reasonable, so let's collect that gingerbread. No matter what, you can always get at least the gingerbread on the frozen pond, frozen lake, whatever you want to call it. All right, this is going to be our final snowball fight. I decided to do it just with one alt account. Maybe like in the grand scheme of things, working with two accounts would be better, but I don't know. I feel like this is just more realistic for you guys to maybe be able to play with one friend or have one alt account. I did the last throw, a backwards throw, and <laughs> look at her little feet. Okay, guys, that was officially our last round. We got 3,400 gingerbread. So in total, we were able to make 31,900 gingerbread profit in just one hour. Oh, 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 oh,